money why is billions of dollars why is other nations exploiting our women though they make billions of dollars based off of the fact that they don't want to wear their natural hair i, I can't speak for nobody else you can't speak for nobody else to me, to me, it's a kind of woolly type hair. To, to us, how come your hair is not woolly if you love it? It's to I love it, but I wanted this. You wanted that, right? Yeah. Why would you want stringy Hold red on. hair? What y'all left for? Protective it's style. Bad. Verse 15, if ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Right, so Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Sis, hey sis right here, it says pull it up. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question real quick. You been drinking? I mean, I'm sipping. Look, look, your, your homie, she said he was, right? So let me ask you a question, sis. Don't, don't worry about it. Let me ask you a question real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick. This Bible here, you believe in it, right? What color is Jesus Christ? Sis? He's black. Are you honoring Christ right now? No, I'm not. So what? What are we all going as, as brothers and sisters? What are we going? How do we honor Christ? Because that's how we're out here. We're your big brothers. We're out here because we want. We, we're here to preach the gospel to our people, especially to our women. To protect you from the, the nonsense that's going on out there today. These young girls out here and even yourself. Right? So how do you honor Christ? By keeping his commandments. So I'm going to give you a commandment real quick, sis. Real quick. Because a lot of things are going on. You, yeah, this ain't going nowhere. We'll be out here all night. We was out here yesterday, right? We're not missing anything. So do you feel as if. The way that our people conduct themselves is the way God wants us to conduct ourselves. No. No? What's your nationality? What's my nationality? Yeah. Like far as like Baptist or something like that. What nation of people do you come from? Oh, African? They say you said African? What about you? I really don't so know. What about you? Like, 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 you Islam? I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a part of you. I, I feel like them. We all are from. We all are the nation of Islam. I do believe that. The nation of Israel or Islam? Israel. Israel. Okay. I believe that. What? Who? When you say we all, what do you mean we all? Blacks. All of us, right? Yes. 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 You feel that? Do y'all believe what she said? We got. It. We got. It. Let us prove this to you, real quick, real quick. I know y'all want to get to the festivities, right? We're not gonna hold you. Let's give me. You good? So let me let me prove this to you because we're not out here just blowing smoke for no reason. Right. Right. We're showing you. That Christ is not a white man, he is a black man. That's and we're showing this to the, the children of Israel. Get that in Revelation 1. We're supposed to show you the true image of Christ. To show the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans the true image of Christ. Because it matters to you. It's been hidden and taken away from you. Your nationality and heritage has been taken away from you. Mayfest is not our heritage. Right. This is a German festival. Over there in Europe, the same people that did this to your people... We're celebrating Mayfest now. They celebrate the beginning of summer or the end of cold weather. And now we do it in Mayfest when the Most High has high holy days that you or none of us know nothing about that we need to be keeping and have just as much fun. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants these which must shortly come to pass. Right, so this is a revealing of Jesus Christ. And God gave this to John to show unto the servants of God. The only service that the Most High God has is the children of Israel. The black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you were created to serve God. No one else can serve God but you. So Jesus Christ has to be revealed to you and reintroduced to you. Go to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So Jesus Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. Let me ask you a question. That woolly hair. Is that woolly hair pretty to you? Y'all like that woolly hair? I love it. You love it? Yeah. How come our people don't, how come our sisters predominantly don't rock it? I do. We rock. rock. I ain't you got rock. dry anything right family, now. But we rock. I do rock my Why is rock. billions of dollars, why is other nations exploiting our women though? 
They make billions of dollars based off of the fact that they don't want to wear their natural hair. Wake up, up! Huh? For what? Trillions. Trillions of dollars. Why do they do that? Want to be cute. They want to be cute, right? So why isn't that woolly hair cute to you, though? Right. You're not saying that. Well, we're not saying it, it's not. We're not saying that. I mean, but I, I can't speak for nobody else. Can't speak for nobody else. Can't speak for nobody else. Oh, to me, to me, what kind of woolly it's type a hair. To, to us, how come your hair is not woolly if you love it? It's to I love it, but I want it this style. You want it that, right? Yeah. Why would you want stringy hair? Hold on, hair what y'all left for? Protective it's style. Not. That's it. Protective style. Yeah. All right, read on. Let's get the image of Christ. No, his no, head no, and his no, hair no, were no, white no, like wool. No, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. Now I can see your feet, right, sis? Is your feet the same color as your legs? Basically, if I look at your feet, I know what, I can give you a proximity of what race you are, right? I can see if that's a, a Caucasian person or a so-called black person, right? If I look at your feet. It says Christ's feet was like fine brass reed. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. So now you take brass and burn it, what color does it become? It becomes dark skin like you, right, sis? Yeah. So that means Christ was a dark skinned man. That's right. Now, y'all are adults. If I were to pull up small children up here and ask them which hair is pretty and which hair is ugly, black children, which one would they say? The long stringy hair was pretty, the one like this. But the woolly hair would not be good looking. If you pull up, if you pull those same children out and ask them what skin tone is better, light skin or dark skin, which one would they prefer? They would prefer light skin. It's been done already, right? That's but our enemies gave us this image here to cause that on our people. Cause us to hate ourselves, hate everything about ourselves, and in turn, we don't deal with our people the right way at all. Now you said that y'all know that y'all Israel, right? You do, but y'all, you know. Let me show you something real quick. How do we know that we Israel? We're going to prove that to you in the Bible. Your, your flyer says the truth about slavery. Slavery is the thing that our people want to forget. Slavery is the people that, I, I don't want to hear about slavery. It was brutal, it was disgusting, it was terrible, and it, and it, it causes problems, right? You don't say that. Sla our people do say that. As a, as a nation of people, that, since never, we do this, but I'm telling you, we've been doing this thing for decades. Our people do this, man. Huh? You said your father's in the truth. So your father, what is he? Read that. Give me your Deuteronomy 20. Let me show you something. We know who the children of Israel are based off of the curses written in the Bible. Our people are under a curse today. The fact that we don't know our nationality. The fact that we don't own a damn thing in this country here. The fact that we got to go to our enemies for every single thing that we do and have. That is a curse because we were born to be above everyone else. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And these curses came on us because we went against the Most High God's laws, statutes, and commandments. As a nation of people, we're still going against God's laws today. Right, so the only way we can reverse these curses and have the Most High deal with us to the point where we don't have the Mike Browns, the Trayvon Martins, all those different things happening to us, our women getting raped, all those different things, is by coming back to the Most High God's laws, statutes, and commandments. There's no other way around it. But give me verse 68, I'm gonna show you something real quick. How did our people get over here in this country? They said it. On, on slave ships, right? On slave ships. Is that in the Bible? No. It's not in the Bible. Read that. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Bible is saying that the Israelites are going to go into Egypt again with ships. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. It comes from the, the Greek word Egyptos, which means bondage. Slavery. The children of Israel was in bondage in Egypt. So read that again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. What other nation of people do we know of that actually went through chattel slavery on slave ships? Chinese? European? 
Arabs? No, the only people that we know of about slave ships is that there's a black man that's here in America today. And the Hispanics that had to go through it. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. preach out of sis what did paul teach out of what did what well, we the people that read that anymore watch this watch this sis. first <laughs> timothy chapter 2 verse 9 in like manner also that women adore themselves in modest apparel that's in the new testament sis that's right that's a new testament law which went back to the old so now paul is teaching that is that is that a real is that a new testament yeah. is that I, not I, a I law got a, i got a question what you got, what's, sis? What's wrong with the way that we're living? We, we're not living back in those times. We live in modern times. All right. So now, what's, wrong, what's wrong with people wearing shorts and just wearing what they want to wear? Because in here, that's the only thing that matters. In your heart? That's the only thing. Because God knows your heart. Give me Mark. What you got? That's the only thing. What, what, is what, this, what does this have to do what with what's going Give me your heart. Let me show you something about your heart. About your heart. Like God knows your heart. Let's get there. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. Go ahead. The heart is the, the heart is what? The heart is deceitful. The Bible says the heart is deceitful. Read. Above all things. Above everything, anybody. Your heart is the most deceitful thing that you can deal with. Read. It's desperately wicked. It's what? Desperately wicked. It's wicked. It's desperately wicked. Read. Who can know it? Uh -huh. So who can know that thing? So when you deal with what's in your heart, what are you dealing with? Get that in Mark. Give me Mark. I don't have nothing against them. No, see, and see, y'all interpret, interpreting y'all interpreting this the way y'all. Yeah, all right, so this is the Old Testament. That and, was the old. Let me let me show you the one in the new one. Read Mark chapter seven, verse twenty-one. Read. So this is the New Testament. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men, it says, for from within, out of the heart of men, does what? Proceed evil thoughts. It says, pro proceed evil thoughts. Now read this real quick. Not my heart. Watch. Read. Adultery! The first thing that came out of the heart was adultery. Now let me let me ask you a question. 
The very first evil thought he said was adultery. Are y'all married? Yes, I'm not married. You're not married? You married? Yes. You married, sis? Are y'all having sex? No. You married? You say you're absent. Why you Why you throwing you're, your head back? You see what I mean? You, you're a virgin, sis. Why, why you think that I'm having sex? You're a virgin? Yes, I am. You... <laughs> <laughs> Look how you... Nah. Are you a virgin, sis? No, right? So it says, out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts. Okay, we'll deal with that. All right, you're a virgin, right? We'll go with it. Read. Go down. Adultery! Adultery! Fornication! Fornication! All... Read. Murder! Murder! No, we're not judging. No, it's not judging. Listen, judgment would be... No. What judgment would be I'm, what I'm Christ say. did, I mean, what no. Christ didn't do to the sister that was caught in adultery. Let me tell you. Right? Me. Judgment would be, okay, no, what they no, did no. back in the days. If they caught a woman committing adultery, they stoned her with stones, hold right? On, hold on, hold but on. if you committed when murder, they would kill you. That's judgment. We're not judging you, sis. When I just said I'm oh, this is love. everybody back here just threw their head back like. But you know why? Why? Why do you think? Why? Because of the way you dress, sis. What does that have to do with it? Give me that in Sarah. I'm going to show you oh, something. Man. No, it matters. Yo. It definitely matters. Since, I, let me ask I you a question. Hear, you. Let me ask you a question. If you if you call a police and the police pull up with in a car with, with rims and spinners and they pull out and they don't have a police uniform on, they smoking a the blunt and say, hey, I'm the cops, you gonna deal with them? I'm not gonna respect them. You're not going to, right? But but if you pull up in a damn squad car with a police uniform or badge and a gun on his head, you're gonna deal with them, right? Because of the way he's dressing and how he presents himself. Read that. Surah so chapter 19, verse 29. A man may be known by his look. The Bible says a man or woman may be known by their looks. Read. And one that has understanding by his countenance. And one that actually understands God and what God's required of them by their countenance. Read. When thou meetest him. When you see them. Read. A man's attire. A man's what? A man's attire. That's another told, word for attire. Back. Another word for attire is clothing, right? I this is the Bible, says so we. An excessive laughter. An excessive laughter does what? And gay. And gay. Come in. Come in real quick. Read. Show what he is. It shows what you are. Read it out. So the way you dress, the way you walk, the way you talk actually shows us who you are according to the Bible. That's right. So it's very important that you understand that. And go back to Bible of Power. Let's deal with that thing. Because we have nothing but, we got sisters over there. Everybody walking past us, and none of them are dressed according to the way God wants you to dress. Right. Right. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women must adorn themselves in modest apparel. That's right. Not showing your cleavage, right. not having your behind out, right. not glorifying and being sexy right. and all those different on. things that brings forth whoredom and adultery in our communities. That's right. Free. With shame faces, not looking up at brothers all in their face, telling them how they feel. Right. Shame faces, free. And so pretty. And damn sure not out here drunk or high Smoking, going to a poultry festival. Bring it up. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.